opportunities out here for you to tap into. And uh, today's discussion will be focused on empowering our generation. And we're talking specifically about our generation, us. So uh, to help us drive this conversation is uh, one, Anthony Masese. Uh, he also goes by the name uh, The Mentalist, popularly known as The Mentalist. He's a mentor. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel, a uh, show called The Mentor, Mentalist Show, and he's here to pour into us some of the nuggets he has. Karibu sana, Anthony. Thank you so much. Yeah, glad to have you with us today. Yeah, I'm uh, so glad too. Uh -huh. yeah. I hope I've introduced you well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so you want to tell us a little bit about you being a mentor. What exactly you do? Uh, I being a mentor, I help... Uh, the community mm -hmm. at large, let me say the community, mm -hmm. because it's not necessarily the youth. Uh -huh. Yeah, the community comprises of a lot of uh, individuals. Yeah. We have the women, we have the men, we have the youth, and we have the teens. Mm -hmm. So I try to... Cater for yeah, all of them. Yeah, for, for all of them, for a bright future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. I think mm -hmm. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, when you talk about empowering a generation yeah how important is this because that's also just part of what you do yeah mm -hmm. uh, empowering a generation it actually has a lot of aspects mm -hmm. you know we have the education we have the resources that the youth need uh, we have the infrastructures you know and when I start maybe about education mm -hmm. you know the future of today all the things that we do today, mm. this will impact the next generation or the future generation. So what we do today, the, the decisions that we are going to make today as the youth, as the people, are going to impact the future next of tomorrow. Generation. And yeah. yeah, the generation we are talking about, you know, uh, is us, the youth. Mm -hmm. And the future leaders depend on the people we are going to create today. All right. Yeah. So that's very important because we set the standard for how the future generation will be like. So what we do today is a determinant of how tomorrow will be like. So yeah. it's very critical to yeah. empower mm -hmm. us as a generation, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you ensure you do this? Through you have the mentalist show, and I don't know if there's any other way. How do you ensure that you you sh uh, you empower this generation in your own capacity? Uh, for me, I try to, one, I try to educate uh, the youths uh, through what I do at the, at the YouTube channel as my mm -hmm. show. I try to show them various uh, aspects of life. You know, I try to give the youths a way. You know, being a mentor, is, it has a lot. Yes. Yeah, you need to be a leader. You need to have good morals because a good mentor what you are what you're gonna tell the people the people gonna take it mm -hmm. because they believe in you they believe in what to say and they actually they are gonna follow it mm -hmm. so being a mentor and how I'm going to do things first you know I need to put myself I need to be that picture the good picture the the I can say the the future, you know, the future depends on us, you know. Yeah. And being a mentor, I try to get to be to be a good example of the community. I try to show them the, the correct way and tell them good things that they need to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you direct them in the, at least in the right way. Yeah. And you said that it takes a lot. You yeah, know? it takes a lot. You have to lead as, you know, by example, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in the mental, sh you have interviewed different kind of people yeah. and uh, and all that. So when we talk about, uh, even before I get to that, there's something that um, I saw in your bio. Mm -hmm. You know, you have said you said your focus is um, unwavering to inspire, mm -hmm. motivate, and ignite a spark of ambition within the community. Yeah. What is the what is the essence of this? You know. Especially when we talk about igniting a spark of ambition, you know, within the community, but even now within the generation, mm -hmm. what is the essence of that? Um, 
when I, when you see in Kenya nowadays, people are being I don't know I can say the youths mm -hmm. uh, are being are being directed. We were we were taught to just maybe pass ag academically, and if you are not academic academic wise, mm -hmm. you cannot have a good job. And there's some things that we forgot to tell our young generation or the youths mm -hmm. that they need to follow not only education, we have also the passion, we have the talent. And most of the youths don't know how to, to, to maybe to follow their talent, mm -hmm. to, pull, uh, to follow their passion. Okay. So for me, I try to bring, to spark, to ignite that fire in you that I tell you that you can do this. It's not necessarily that education, that is also, it's not necessarily that it's all about education. Yeah, there's also talent, there's also passion that you need to follow. Mm -hmm. So for me, I try to bring that out of you. I try to make that out of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as a mentor, you are also a teacher. Mm -hmm. So I try to teach some people. And truly, when you do that, some have followed their passion. Some have fol uh, followed their talents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. How, you know, uh, being a mentor, what are some of the success stories that you've seen in the people that, that you mentor, something that you look back to and like, I, I, I'm doing the right thing, you know, this is, uh, mm -hmm. this is what I'm called to do, this is why I'm here. You know, being a mentor actually is all about changing a life. Mm -hmm. It's all about trying to make something look better. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about trying to make a difference in someone's life. So mm -hmm. uh, when you're saying about how I try to maybe uh, the achievement, mm. when I come, I tell you that uh, what you're doing is not good, but you need to do A, B, and C for you to be this kind of a level, for you to reach certain uh, level in life. And if honestly you're going to do that, what will happen? I'll be so happy because what I wanted you to be, if I said follow your passion and you start doing it on it step by step, the steps I've been telling you to do. Honestly, when I see you uh, coming one day telling me, oh, look at what I did mm -hmm. and I've achieved, I'll be happy. You know, uh, uh, as a mentor, it's not about my success. It's the success of the community. Mm -hmm. Is the success of those people who are out there and making that difference. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's wonderful. How did you how did you decide? How did you settle on being a mentor? Like, you know, just uh, developing the community. You mm -hmm. know? Why? How d is it? Was it something you were always passionate on? Is it something that you do? Um, the main thing that you do, or is it just? Uh, you know, s your purpose, so you, s you work and then you also do this? Actually, this is something, it's, it's, yeah, it is, uh, it's, like I can say, I started back when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Like, that's when I, I knew that I had a purpose to talk to people. Uh -huh. I had that passion to inspire someone. Yeah, and it was, in high school, you know, I was in boarding school and a lot of people, some were depressed, yeah. some had various problems, mm -hmm. you know, in school. And I was like, bro, just, just keep down, just do this and that, mm -hmm. everything will be okay. okay. And you know, after some time, when an individual uh, starts to follow your thing and, and comes again saying, oh, it really helped me, you know, you're a good person. Mm -hmm. or you inspire me a lot. Yeah, even when you talk. And that's how I started when I was in like Form 1. Wow. I could even, I remember an incident where I was trying to talk to a, fo a Form 3. Yeah, he, ha yeah, he had no fee and uh, he had no food. Mm. And uh, I was there, I was like, hey bro, what's wrong? I didn't know him in school, what's wrong? I said, bro, life is not easy. Like. I feel like um, I'm, not, I'm not chosen to be in school, you know? Mm. Like, this is not my place. I just feel mm. like I want to quit. Mm. 
Hey, bro, you are quitting and you are, do, you are just remaining with one here. Yeah. You just don't do that. Instead, try to uh, look friends like me. Actually, that day I remember I had 20 shillings. I bought him a bread. Oh. And he was like, oh. So they're good people. Yeah, they are good <laughs> people outside here who can help. Oh. And uh, through that, I also became a leader in, in high school where I now I could express myself clearly at the parade. Uh -huh. I could tell people quotes. I could inspire people. I could even, I remember even I was chosen to be an academic advisor in my school mm. uh, to just advise some students okay. <laughs> on how to do uh, study work, on how to manage their time well in school. Mm -hmm. And actually I can say it's my passion. It started way, way, ba way back. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Imagine form one, you're a fresher. <laughs> yeah. You're fresher with my advice from well, three. Yeah. How <laughs> it, in what world? Yeah. But well, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, people say, e generation, mm -hmm. um, and I, I love to ask this question to almost all my guests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> e generation, mm -hmm. yeah, they want instant gratification, instant things. Uh, kind of job, any you know, anything that uh, you get a whole the hands on, they want it to work fast. Mm -hmm. So, how, how, what do you say to that? Um, for the youth who are out there, shortcuts are maybe they are very short and sometimes very good, but for how long, you know. But uh, how long will you take the shortcuts? There's nothing, no. I remember my father told me when I was very young mm -hmm. that uh, good things take time. So if you like, you want something good, if you want like something, a good performance, you need to take time on, on that. You need to dedicate, sacrifice, mm -hmm. you know, your time in what you want to do for you to achieve the best. So... There's nothing like instant. These things are very sh they are, they are just, just for a short while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, imagine, leo tu ni mamkasubui. Okay, you don't have a job. Nikuja ni kupatie like a hundred thousand. Nukambe, mm -hmm. that is worse. Ama anda kuna kupatie a hundred thousand every week. Na onu mtu umezo ya 2K every week. Ita kuchanganya kile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see, so sometimes uh, instant things are not good. I only advise them just time. They, they trust the process. Uh -huh. yeah. So it takes time to manage uh, the little that they have, the resources that they have for more is even given yeah. to them. Yeah. Okay, so there's this other thing that you had also mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about the mentalist show that mm -hmm. you have, you yeah. know, and you s explain that the interviews are not just dialogues, mm -hmm. that there are lessons in perseverance, dedication, mm -hmm. and yeah. the power of dreams. Mm -hmm. So let's start with perseverance. What, you know, why is it important to persevere? And what does perseverance mean to someone who's watching? Uh, perseverance is the illest sacrifice. What you're passing through for you. Uh, when you come out of perseverance, there's, there's always the prize. You know? Like, where well, would you do my daily? That waking up even that every morning to do something that you have a goal on it. That's called perseverance. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen a lot of people outside here trying to make it. And trying to making it in life, it, it has a way. Maybe you go and work, maybe to Mijengo, you know. Uh, that process here, where maybe every day when I'm let's say three, I'm a four, like, to just go and do something to your life, just go and do something that will benefit you. Yeah. You know. Actually, life as a mentor pain upon perseverance. Because <laughs> how so, eh? Yeah, when you are trying to inspire somebody, somebody peer and figure that uh, hi, why are you even telling me this? <laughs> Who are you? When I'm eh? nanny. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> nanny and uh, I'm like, bro, I'm just talking to you. I, I, I like I'm not here for anything. Just want to talk to you, 
but have you seen even in the Bible, Jesus persevered like he had to pass through some things yeah. for us to be saved. Mm -hmm. You know, he had to be crucified. He had to be tortured. You know, to be called names for her, for uh, for the for 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 us to be what to be saved. Yeah. Yeah, and through that you can see nowadays like after that we were saved from the sin, but again you know. As human beings, that what happens. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I think that's very profound. Perseverance mm. is important. You yeah. get to the other side. You know, yeah. once you go through some stages, trials, and then you persevere through it, then mm -hmm. you'll see the light. They usually say there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, true. Uh, speak of um, dedication and then now uh, the power of dreams. So we talk about dedication. What does dedication do? Dedication to your service. And this is in regards to... Those that are just even volunteering somewhere, you know, ne not necessarily getting paid for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, people nowadays don't want to volunteer. I can say honestly. True. People want to do something and be paid. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, something that maybe nowadays is trying to hinder our youth from even going to to look f to look for jobs or something else. No, when you dedicate yourself to something, it means you have set aside time mm -hmm. to, to do it. Like you have uh, humbled yourself in a level that now you can start from th down there to somewhere you want to be. Dedication is very important in life. Yeah, for each and every youth who is always, always outside there, like you need to dedicate yourself in doing what you, what you are doing. Like you need to dedicate your time, your money, for you to have the success you, have, you, you want to have in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, when you set the goals uh, in your life, mm -hmm. when you set everything like, you know, and now you start dedicating yourself by giving time, your time, and not cheating to yourself, mm -hmm. you know, that is gonna help you maybe in achieving your goals that you maybe you set at the fir at the beginning of the year, yeah, yeah, and uh, your dreams are gonna come true, mm -hmm. yeah. So dedication does a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. You achieving whatever yeah. you want to achieve. Yeah, and I think it's it also goes with consistency. Yeah, consistency. Because when you're dedicated, you're also consistent. Mm -hmm. like, uh, even on YouTube, you know, they say once if you want to get a good viewership, you have to be consistent in you know, posting every day, Monday at 10, then it should be every day Monday at 10, meaning that you have to be dedicated to whatever you're doing, give yeah. it your all, yeah. and then you'll receive a reward for it. Mm -hmm. All right, now, um, even as you wrap up on the conversation, power of dreams, you know, why is it important for someone to have, to dream? You know, they say it's the only, uh, uh, Lupita said, your dreams are valid. Yeah. And uh, Obama said, yes, you can, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the dreams are the only things that you don't have to pay for. You, you can go beyond your imagination. It's free, yeah? So what, what is the power of, of dream? Uh, power of a dream, uh, that's actually, I can say, when you have a dream, let's mm. say you want to be a mentor. You know, there are some of the things that comes mm -hmm. as a mentor in life. There are challenges and you, you being a mentor, there are some of the things you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, I can give you an example of uh, Barack Obama, as you have said. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama had a dream to, be, to become a leader and honestly became the president, president. of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And the dream, he did not just wake up one day and say that, ah, today, today is election day, let me now tell people to vote yes. for me. Yeah. No, there, there was uh, behind, mm -hmm. you know, behind the scene, Barack Obama faced a lot of difficulties. There were challenges. Uh. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of things that he had to pass through, you know. There's also Hussein Bolt. Hussein Bolt had to train like for four years for him to just run for uh, less than 11 seconds yeah. for him to be crowned the champion. Uh -huh. No, 
he had a dream that one day I want to be the record holder. I said, yes, but for him to, to read there, he had the dream, the vision was there. Now what was remaining? It's now working the work, it. the consistency, the dedication, you know, the sacrifice that he, he had to wake up each and every morning to train Mm -hmm. You see, for him to be the best, mm -hmm. for him to achieve what he wanted to achieve in life. Yeah, even the youth who are out there, for you to, for you to, ha to start something, you need to have that dream. That if you want to be the doctor, then start thinking as one. Start working as one. Start mm -hmm. doing what doctors do, you know. And now that's where the problem is. A lot of youths are... Uh, dream a lot yeah. there are a lot of people nowadays they are dreamers they're just dreamers mm. you know and no no set goals nothing no dedication uh, yeah okay mm -hmm. all right great uh, so it's it's important to, to dream but it's also necessary to have plans to yeah. you know go working towards the achieving mm -hmm. the dream that you have yeah okay. you know failure to plan is planning to fail mm -hmm. yeah that's what i can say Okay. Yeah. And it's a it's a good quote. It's a common quote, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it's very important to just put it down also, right? Yeah. So that you know this is where I want to be. This is where I'm headed, mm -hmm. and all that. How would you advise you? Uh, even as a, as the last question I'm asking, mm -hmm. how would you advise you to tap into that potential to discover what is in them? You know, some people are just sitting on gold mines. You know, talents, skills, abilities. How do you advise them to tap into this hidden potential within them to make it work for them? One, one, they need to follow their heart. What does your heart say? Two, they need to avoid peer pressure. You know, a lot of youth nowadays are lured by their friends. Yeah, if you see your friend is uh, working, doing well, yeah. you won't just be there. Not, not forgetting that you also had a dream. You also had a talent, had a passion. So it's all of follow your heart, uh, avoid peer pressure, mm -hmm. uh, set your goals clearly. It doesn't matter. You know, some youths uh, think that when now they're detached from their friends, there's no life. Mm -hmm. yeah? But not knowing that life is an individual. Like yeah. we came on earth as an individual alone, alone and we are going to... Live alone. Yes. And everything you're going to do is all about you and not anybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you, you just do something. Yeah. Just make sure you do something. Yeah. Okay. Finally, um, do you have a word for a youth that's out there that's not really, you know, that someone who doesn't really have a direction of where they want to go in life. They're not sure what they want to do. Mm -hmm. They're almost hopeless because they've tried different things and they're giving up. So, yeah, you can speak to them directly. That is your camera. Uh, for the youth uh, out there, giving up is not an option. Giving up has never been an option. It's all about that last breath that you have. Mm -hmm. That last chance. You know, in life, you need to set your plans clearly. In life, you need to know that there are ups and downs. In life, you need to know that in everything you do, it is, no, it, is, it is not a must that you must achieve or you must get 100%. So have zero expectation in life. Yeah, do your best, do the best for you to be the best and for you to have the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, that's very straightforward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where can people find you on uh, your socials in case they want to, to reach out to the mentors or mm -hmm. anything? Okay, um, they can find me on TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube, The Mentalist, The Mentalist Show, mm -hmm. and on Facebook, uh, Anthony Masese. Yeah, also on Spotify, I'm there. On Twitter, The Mentalist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, on TikTok and Instagram, it's uh, The Mentalist. Yeah. And then the rest of the platforms, Facebook, Anthony Masese. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Anthony, for coming on board and sharing these amazing insights with us. Uh, thank you so much. Uh,
All right. So uh, this has been a conversation on empowering a generation, and that means you and me. I hope you've taken some points from that. We've had Anthony Masese, who's a mentor. He also goes popularly by the name The Mentalist, and that is from the show that he does. All right, so you can talk to us at Y254 channel. The hashtag to use today is one in the morning. We're going to take a short break and then Brian Sakwa will be coming back and they're continuing with a the conversation that they started last week. So stick with us. <laughs>